In his first book, The All-Knowing Diary, author Daniel Rechnitzer expanded our horizons, teaching us just how powerful we are and how our belief systems are creating our very reality, driving our finances, dictating our health, and steering our every decision. Now, in his latest book, Mind Lies and the Truths That Will Set You Free, Daniel delves deep into the human psyche, smashing through mind lies, freeing us from the very subconscious belief systems holding us back. Brace yourself for the ride of your life as you come face to face with the truth about who and what you really are. Check out these highlights from the book. Hello everyone. The mind lie that we are addressing now is, if I don't fit in, I'll be rejected. Many of us feel that if we don't belong, that we will in some, in some way miss out on the riches of life. But like all mind lies, this is not the truth. You know, this belief creates a race of sameness, of nearly exact clones of one another. Now, whilst this might be great for businesses around the world, especially those that benefit from this, such as fashion houses and car manufacturers and credit card companies, well, this belief is actually very suffocating for all of us. In simple terms, holding on to this never allows us to breathe our unique essence into our life nor into anyone else's, which is detrimental to us all and the earth. And it is exactly what we are all experiencing right now. For many of us, being the same is the only shot at validation we believe we have. It has us feel that we fit in, we belong, and best of all, it has us believe we are on the right track. If I do what others do, behave their way, dress the way they do, work too hard and burn out the way others do, then I must be okay where I'm at. I must be on track. But things couldn't be further from the truth. Conformity does not equate to walking one's path. Conformity doesn't even mean walking another's path. Rather, it means living a life based on what society currently deems as an appropriate way to live. And where are these ideas of what's appropriate and what's not coming from? Well, you guessed it. They're coming from my lies. And if you're coming from the need to conform, then you're resonating with the ideas that come from my lies. And the whole consciousness around that. It's an oxymoron to think you can thrive by fitting in. And those who have ever created any meaningful success in their lives did so from being their own unique selves. To fit in is counter to being successful. Your mind lies would have you believe otherwise, but they always do. Topsy-turvy world. So what's the truth? Well, each of us has a DNA-based blueprint guiding us toward success in all areas of our life. Now, DNA is comprehensive. It not only guides our physical development, but it also guides our life expansion, our purpose, and the best way to achieve it. But guess what switches off this GPS? Conformity, the need to fit in, the craving to belong. Within this DNA GPS is a set of immaculate gifts to bestow upon the earth. 
gifts that are essential to your success, and gifts that are needed to transform the consciousness of all humanity, our way of life. We are each a piece of a much larger puzzle. Each one of us brings this unique gift that serves the individual and the greater good. But without having the opportunity to share these gifts, means all of us grow that much more slowly, and we suffer the consequences of this. If you're wondering what those consequences are, simply look around. These lack in shifts of consciousness are responsible for all the violence, all the poverty, all the arguments, all the conflict, and all the environmental damage that we are experiencing now. So it's in everyone's highest good to tap in to you are, to themselves, and see what gifts we all have to bring through. Should be the first thing that's taught in school. We all want to make a significant contribution. And finding out what gifts we offer is not only the best way to make a real difference with our lives, but it is the universe's preferred way how we make that contribution. We are no different in this way to all of life on the planet. Each species has a role to play, a gift to bring, to create a balanced and evolving ecosystem. The difference between humans and the rest of life on Earth is the level of gift that we have to bring. For humans, it's utterly profound. Your skills and gifts come from within and are deliberately complementary to others, not the same. The universe doesn't thrive nor require copies nor conformity in any way. The more you live your truth, the more you will naturally express uniqueness, not sameness. It does take courage and self-belief, but in the end, the rewards are so worth it. Conformity equals mediocrity, mediocre living. But divine uniqueness, what's within us, equals divine living, a divine life experience. To step out of the norm, to be bold, to do the work you want, to live the life in a way that's closest to your heart, is exactly what the world needs now. Conformity has gotten us to where we are today. Innovation, uniqueness and liberated minds will create the tomorrow we are all so desperately desiring. So be bold. Let's go a bit deeper. Where did all this come from? Your desire to fit in came from this rejection as a child of getting it wrong and of being starved of love and acceptance when you most needed it. The irony is those you were trying to fit in with, to, be, to belong and be accepted by, were also trying to fit in even more desperately than you. You were rejected by those who had rejected themselves far worse than they ever rejected you. The pain of rejection haunts us into believing that we are safer conforming than living at the edge where differences exist and where real differences is made. Fear keeps us from living on the edge of uniqueness. The fear is that we will slip off into an abyss of unhappiness from rejection and abandonment and criticism. We believe we can't really live until we have achieved the prerequisite of fitting in, of belonging and being accepted by others. 
We think fitting in is living. But the truth is, life doesn't really begin until we celebrate our uniqueness. Life happens when we elevate beyond needing anything. Beyond there being a prerequisite for life to begin. Life is, and has always been. It's happening right now. To need, to need to conform is not the truth. To wait until we are successful is not the truth. To wait until we feel loved by the world is also not the truth. This greatest irony in our world is that we are all alive right now. We are living now. Yet nearly all of us are still waiting for something to start living. Let's change this right now. And understand all these prerequisites of waiting to live are perpetual. They never end. Because in their place will pop up a new version of the first prerequisite and so on. So the goals are always shifting. You cannot heal a mind lie by satisfying it. New and more elaborate mind lies pop up in their place. It's a never ending cycle. What there is to realize is I don't need to be or do anything, period. There's nothing for you to be, no one for you to be, or nothing for you to do, period. We worry and fear that we will be rejected if we don't conform in some way, that we will be rejected if we don't. Yet by believing this, we have rejected our own happiness, putting it off until others believe and integrate us into their conforming reality. So in truth, we had rejected our happiness way before anyone else could ever reject us. We did it first. The fear is the world will reject me if I'm everything I truly am. But the truth is, and it's a big one, you are the world. It exists within you. You don't exist within it. What you therefore see out in the world is what you believe in there, in you. To accept and embrace your uniqueness creates a world out there that accepts and embraces your uniqueness. You dictate what happens. You always have and you always will. Uniqueness doesn't exist out there in how we look, what we say, or even what we do. For all that is simply an expression of our inner, true uniqueness. And is based on how we see ourselves and our infinite reality. The more unique your view, the more unique the you. So in summary, strive not to be unique, but rather to see uniquely. Embrace your unique view. Never turn away from it, fearing rejection. For that is an even worse rejection. We live in a world that insists on everyone seeing life through the same eyes. But let it be your gift to see with fresh and enlightened eyes. Let it be your gift to encourage those around you to see with extraordinary eyes, with enlightened, insightful eyes, so that together we can all create a most unique way of life for everyone. Thank you.